Absolutely, uh, very, very. I wouldn't say that we have no chance uh, chance afterwards to win the game, but if the ball is in, it changes the game for sure. It was what was it, 45th minute, round about. So Newcastle would have said perfect moment. For us, it would have been exactly the opposite. So um, yes, exact. That's exactly life of. Uh, Top class goalkeeper. If you're in a top team, you have not a lot to do. But if you have something to do, you need to be there. And that she was there. So, I, yeah, it's a good thing. It's, it's better that they had to finish and he could make the save than they wouldn't have shot the ball um, on the goal. So, because then nobody speaks about the goalkeeper. So, it's good. Um, most fantastic was like scoring, to be honest. That's how it is. We scored two more. That makes the result. So, um, Happy about the result. It's all. It's really. It's good, um, but it's already over. So we play on Tuesday again. So that's it. So. Carries on someone who's become more comfortable in his role now that he's effectively number one person. Look, if he's if he's not a good goalkeeper, I would the big would be the biggest idiot in world football if I bring him, if I line him up. So maybe a few things, a few people think I am, but um, it, it's he is an outstanding, skilled goalkeeper. That's how it is. And the start was not that good. And in our life, it's like that. That then people make their assessment immediately and say, yes, that's like this. So the start was bad. So there's nothing. It needed time, and needed a situation, needed a training with John and. Now he now he's playing and thank God he's playing good. That's that's the situation. It's not there's no goalkeeper without any mistakes in the in the, in the world. But the, for goalkeepers the timing is very important. The best thing is you don't make a mistake in the first 50 games, and then people think you are the best, and then you can make a wow, and you can be responsible for three goals in a row. But the people think still, yeah, he's our, but he's world class. So and now he has a few good games. That's good for us. And now let's carry on. Jürgen, you obviously knew Mo Salah had ability in him when you signed him, or you wouldn't have signed him. But did you think he was a 30 goal a season player when you signed him? <laughs> well, um, I had no numbers in my mind. We knew that he's a very offensive orientated midfield player. So that's how it is. And if you are that, then you need goals from players like this and you want them to score. Um, I love the goals he scored. I love the, his assists. Uh, but his, um, today, I think it's, it's, I have no problem. I really love this player, how, how he's, he's doing so well, and thank God he's still healthy and fit and all that stuff. But and the, the, all the others are important, exactly the same, have for us exactly the same importance. That's how it is. And we, um, we play together, he knows that, he needed a pass, he cannot get the ball in the midfield, run there, and then be free in the box. That's not possible. So it was a world class situation from Ox. So speeding up in this situation and then passing the ball like. The situation from Roberto Firmino, the pass uh, I have would have now a ligament injury yeah, in, the, in the ankle if, if you want to try that. And uh, he did it. And then Sadio could score. So that's always teamwork in football. I, I love that most, to be honest. But um, he deserves all the good critics he got so far. And we have to make sure that he can carry on like this. Mo, no, Mo is the. He makes his own breaks on a pitch. <laughs> <laughs> you need to you need to save Roberto and uh, and Sadio is when uh, is, uh, yeah, a little bit more lively in this situation. But Mo actually he was surprised how lively he was then in the last few minutes. I was not too too happy then with my decisions, but usually he makes his own breaks. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. It's a different position. Eh? If you, it depends on what you what you want to have. So it, uh, I think there's no doubt that Kevin De Bruyne plays a nice season. 
very honest, and there's no doubt that Mo Salah plays a, a really good one as well. So that's how it is, but not only him. From There, there are a few more players. I think um, a few people would mention that Harry Kane is not too bad, Roberto Firmino is not too bad. Yeah, David Silva had a few weeks like, because of private reasons he couldn't play, but he plays an outstanding season as well. So there are a few good players this season in the Premier League, and for sure I forgot a few. In our team, I, lo I like a lot uh, what, what we did so far. But um, I don't have to make the decision. So um, at the end, there will be one winner and um, a few more very good players around him. I know you like that you don't like individual clubs and team, but I saw you present um, Mo with the African Player of the Year award. So I know that you realise it means a lot to the individual players. Do you yeah, that's uh, that's like like life of a professional sportsman is. So you you do it because you want to win. I, I don't think that uh, a lot of people are doing this only to be part of it. So we want to win things, and that's um, it's a big part of our personality. And so of course I know. And for 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 me, trophies person trophies mean absolutely nothing. I know that, and I have no clue why is why it's like why it is like that. But it is the truth. So, um, but winning a title with a team is. It's different, to be honest. But I, I really respect that. And yes, if he can win this competition, then, then he deserves it. Then there's a few games to go, and we have to make sure that he can um, that he can keep on going in, in this shape and can be in the important um, spaces in the very decisive areas and, and score goals for us. Paul Wilson's finished, I think. There were, um, there were a couple of penalty decisions which seemed a bit upset about. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who the second one was obviously no penalty because was outside was 100% red card. I'm sorry to say that. I don't even know who who made the foul. But how you cannot whistle a foul in that situation? That's quite a special view. I thought in that moment it was a penalty as well, but that I saw it later back. For me, the other situation is a clear penalty against Mo Salah. So that's how it is, especially in comparison to the very hard touch in the Tottenham game. We cannot always say this is a penalty. There's no penalty. It's a touch and go penalty. And the problem now, my reaction, if you ask now why I was a little bit emotional in that, but our problem in our life is that we have to swallow it immediately in the moment when it happens. That's really difficult. You see it, you are emotional, you think, what? And, and then immediately, and you have to be quiet immediately. That's the perfect reaction. Like, and I, that will not work until I'm really quiet. So and that's uh, that's the problem. So now I got it. We won two nil. I have no problem with that. It will be, I don't go into to the ref, but I hope he sees as well that I thought there were a few situations when you read really, wow, that was the other way around. It's a free kick for us, but it's not important anymore. I wanted we wanted two nil. And I know it's, a, it's football is a difficult game to whistle to judge and all that stuff. And um, but sometimes it's clear. And I think the last situation was really clear. There were not a lot between the ref. And the situation, so yeah, but lucky man from Newcastle because he can play the next game. I think Chris Shaw has one final question. Yeah, how satisfied are you with how calm the crowd and the team has become in games out over these couple of weeks in a row? How are you just taking the situation forward to make the break with what everyone seems to love? Look, that's that's I, I think yeah, it's nice, it's completely normal, it's how it is. And even something is bad, you realize immediately when something something is good. What it is, obviously, and thank that you know, thank you that you mentioned it. And uh, behavior of the crowd and the, the, the faith and the trust, which is obviously in that, um, improved. You always have to 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 earn things like this. And um, with a few performances, we earned it. I think that the people now are more convinced uh, that it can happen at one moment in the game than they were before. Um, yeah. That helps massively, but that's what I what I thought, what I meant when I when I said we have to create this to this situation together. So it's like it is. We can you cannot keep the ball in your rows when the, when the crowd is pushing you constantly in this direction. It's difficult for each human being. So they do it still. That's nice because it's important. It's part of the game. It's emotion, and we all love that. But a few times you have to keep the ball only, and I would have. Been more happy in the in the last ten minutes if we would have kept the ball constantly. Only keep it. They didn't attack, so why we try to play through balls? That's absolutely no reason because I don't have to take any risk. And um, but we are on the way to do that. And um, 
this team is obviously always quite on the front foot to score the next goal. Um, but we adapted to the to the situation as a team as well. But yeah, you are right. The crowd was really brilliant tonight. Fantastic. Thank you.